Hello everyone. Welcome to Cypress Automation. This is Sureful. This lecture we're going to learn about Cypress command. Probably you have heard, you know, in my previous last uh, few uh, lectures that I talk about, uh, uh, you know, Cypress command. That's uh, most of your script, like 90% of script, will be based on Cypress command. So it means uh, you have to have to know very well Cypress command, Cypress uh, function. So let's get some uh, idea, some of the example uh, about the Cypress command. So this is our uh, practical, you know, our practice um, uh, website, the Code and Box Automation Lab slash practice. Here, um, in our last uh, uh, example or last tutorial, we have seen we selected how to select the radio button two or any radio, and we type over here, say automation. So in this lecture, we're going to see that you know how you are going to confirm that you uh, selected radio two. The the radio button you selected, it was selected, and also you type automation in search box. It was typed. How you're gonna confirm? How you're gonna assert assert it? How you gonna you know assert in your automation that it was typed up there? okay so this two same example we're just going to verify now that will give you in between test case for this two scenario okay so if you have seen my previous uh, video uh, about the locator so it was the just simple code again you know this is based on uh, mocha framework I hope you know you please go through all the video as per sequence and then you will understand so here you know I'm visiting this is the side and then you know uh, I'm getting finding the uh, element for the radio too I hope you know you see your previous video so I don't have to find out again and again you know and then if you go here so radio 2 just I'm going to show very quick and here I use CSS selector I made my own CSS selector right so input and then uh, a value attribute so you can create your own CSS selector and then use the the check function this is one of the you know Cypress command like cy cy dot get this is a Cypress command cy dot visit this is a Cypress command and then uh, the next one you know so the first how this part this will find the element of radio button 2 and this check m function will be checked so now how you are going to you know assert it how you are going to confirm that it was checked to do this Cypress has its own also uh, assertion command it's called it's called should s h o u l the should command and then you know should has a lot of different argument you can use inside the should in this case you know you want to say you know uh, this been checked or not so you will say should you know be checked right so what your argument would be b dot you can see checked checked b dot checked okay there is a two argument you can use there is a not be checked for to make sure that it was not checked but in this case we want to make sure it was checked right so we're going to use this argument be checked the should is the command you know to assert to compare that it was you know uh, it, uh, it was being checked or not in this case but should use a lot of different way you know in Cypress as a assertion command right and the next one it's over here over here you know we find this search box and then we type automation right so here is the size size get and this is the element locator for this uh, search box and then we type 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 is the you know again uh, cypress command to type any word you know any text in a field um, okay like in the selenium we use send keys so in the cypress we use type so with time automation so now how you are going to confirm that it was you know uh, the it was the the this word this automation you know word was typed 
you know so it means it should have in the search box should have automation word so if we convert this word we can we can use again should command should and then we say it should have right have value it should have dot you can say have there is a argument is called value should have value should have value what the automation word right so that's the second argument would be the automation or the same word so you can just paste it here so it means you know this will do the assertion it mean it will say okay it should have value what value the same value if these two match it, it the test case will pass if over here in this case should be checked it means after this check function we you know it should be checked at the box okay let's save it and then we can run it and to run it I hope you remember the command okay so let's run it so if you want to you can run it here this is the command right to run it so because uh, you have to run the cypress underneath the bin folder and the bin folder is underneath dot no node module right open it it will open the test runner and then we can see it this is a head mode right we can run a uh, headless mode also we'll see in uh, uh, probably another video or maybe the same video okay test runner is uh, open so this is a spec file test one so open this here we go it's launching the site and it's supposed to check the radio 2 button and also typed and now in this you know if you see on the left side this is the you know the this is the element found script and then check this function it's checked this button and this is the assertion the assertion it expect this you know element to be checked and it was checked right if you click on and you can see that it was checked so this is the assertion and this assertion comes from where by using this should this language this command right and then same way for the next one for the you know typing over here if you go the code over here uh, this is the element found and this type it was type you know it's it's here it's in type and this is an assertion an assertion is confirmed it is there is a automation text you know it's already there and value match that's why it said it's a pass you know it's all green if you just change it say if you just change it automation say so just change it right I'm going to say change one more time and then now let's run it again you will see automatically run and then you will see this one is failed that second test case is failed it says a type automation but assertion it's expected at this box this is the element to have value automation one it's expected at a w uh, automation value one but we have the value automation so it didn't match so it's saying it's clearly saying that it's test cases fail and where is the fail this is the line of the failing code right this is the line of the failing code so that's the you know way you can do assertion if you know uh, you can check you can do the validation okay so let's remove it now make it pass save it so this is a very simple example of using some of the uh, uh, some of the uh, uh, Cypress command so here this example is not to show you how to run the test cases how to do the assertion it's more like showing you using some of the you know the those of the command like cypress command like shoot command type command uh, type command get command visit all this where are those things comes from okay this video is all about uh, about the cypress command so let's go to cypress website and if you type command you will come to this page and you can see underneath this command 
there's a lot of command it's all our and as blur check ch you know children clear all of them click you know it's all of them are command cypress command and each and every command have a different meaning and it does some specific job okay so you have to know very well the more you will know about those you know uh, this command your scripting is going to be very easy because mostly we're going to use all of the commands you know and uh, do our logic so example if you wanna I'm going to just show a couple of them few of them but because I, I can't go all of them you know uh, say example uh, if you go let's go and so and you can see dot and assume that when you're going to use dot and or and function or and command it can be used in as assertion so assertion we know that's we used to do the assertion we use shoot command so and can be used with a shoot command you can see this over here dot shoot command right so here is a some of the uh, you can see the the syntax using and command here is some example so it's saying over here see why get we know this the get it's a uh, it's find the element so this is assume that this is the element of object so you're saying get this element should or should be empty so and should be hidden so there is a element which is should be empty and should be hidden if you want to do the test case for such kind of element you can write this you know cypress command here is a should command will verify is that element is empty I mean there is nothing on that element like you know there's nothing there are no text nothing and it should be hidden sometimes we have to verify some of the hidden element and you know so if you have a two condition you know so, or one condition on an element you know you can use with this the condition to verify it after the verify you can use and and element uh, you know and function or and command you know to do some extra action job on that specific element okay so here one more one more things you can see there is a psi contains contains is another command so this is login so you know the login element it's saying and so if you want to verify your login box you know um, is visible right so that time you can use also and over here so we're saying psi get contains login we're saying the fi find the element or you know the element is you know uh, have a, has a property value is login what it's visible also so you can use and command and you can say be visible so you can say over here is saying assert this is the element is visible right so that's the way you can use in all different way the more you know the more you can easily use those command so and then s as s command or s function is used as a allies so and and it applies to an specific element you know you can see you can see dot s this is this is the syntax and then you give it in a specific name so you can say example over here um cy get this is an element you know and then find first of, so this is a prob this is a an element with with ha with has a what has a you know uh, uh, sub child more than one child and it's saying find the first one so out of this you know element find the first one and find the find the l l l i which is the first one maybe it's uh, you know the one of them element and first method as in a first name so you if you see the meaning over here it's saying allies element as so you're you're putting this element you know allies under you know hold this element so you're saying whatever the element you will find out of this you know a multi element then you will get one of the specific element which is the first one you know put this whole element in a, in an allies which is name is first nab it's like a variable so you're putting this whole element in a one variable and you give a name variable as first nab and next time when you need to use this element you just call that variable with the at the red sign at the red first nab 
anywhere it will mean this whole element okay but you can use the allies you know at the beginning so when, before to use your allies you need an element so that this function allies function can applicable to element so at the you can say in current uses you can directly call the allies because allies always need to be you know uh, it needs uh, it needs to to use it you you have to be an uh, there is, uh, you, you need an element so that you can use that allies okay so you can see over here dot as yields the same subject it was given from the previous command so it was given from the previous command it's yields to the same subject right and then next uh, probably you can say uh, check check function or check command so check we, we just saw in our example right we use a check function over here to so check can be used to check any box radio box check box anything so you need an element right so example this is your element and then you use ch a check method so a check method will be applicable in this element so this element could be check box or could be radio box right and then say example you can make a clear clear command so clear can be clear any field any text box right so example this is an element of a text box you know you you want to clear first so it's it's clearly saying clear text input so you clear the text in input if there is a default input on the box right then so you know those are the things and then it, again you can see that's uh, uh, the clear you know type type high on this element this box and then clear it right so there's a tons of you know uh, uh, the Cypress command say example clear cookie usually Cypress by default clear all the cookies before it runs uh, or run its ex execute your script but still if you want to clear any specific cookie you know that time you can use that you know cookie name as an argument inside the clear cookie method right example you know cy clear cookie and you know this this is the cookie name so you pass that cookie name right so you can use that too and then say click is very famous so click on any button any element you can use a, a direct click method as well as you know you can use uh, uh, example over here you can see cy contains so welcome so if there is an element you know uh, element contained welcome text and then you can click on there so click on the first element containing welcome that's the meaning right and then but you can say it's a wrong use cases you can you know your script cannot be used at the beginning uh, of your scripting the click method cannot be used at the uh, beginning so you can say click and then you pass the object of the or property of that element no you have to get that element first and then you call that you know you call that click method right so contains we have already seen contains right contains can be used this way like you get an element and then you are saying contain some of the maybe that element have a text like about us so it is uh, you know you're saying you are making more uh, specific about that element the element you are locating right so you can say cy contain hello right you can find any element which has contain you know the hello or hello word hello text but it will find the first one if you have a more multiple object with the same hello text it will find the first one you can say yield first element in document containing hello okay so similarly you know I would say you know you can see DB link and a debug document there's a lots of lots of Cypress command so I would encourage you please go through the uh, Cypress command as many as possible as much as possible uh, so that you get familiar with the meaning and also use cases and then you know the more you are going to use in practical in real project you will be more professional and it will be more in advanced level but there is no skip you know to avoid all those command because your script would be based on 
you know uh, I would say 90% uh, automation script will be based on this you know uh, Cypress command so that's all pretty much and uh, thank you so much and stay tuned uh, we'll see you on next video